Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to replace an alternator in a 93 Honda Accord. Let's check it out. And the first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and remove your negative battery terminal. Then we're going to come on over here. This is like your cruise control unit or something like that. And there's a plug right here. You just kind of squeeze this thing, pull it up, and then squeeze and disconnect this connector. And then there's a hose. You just take a flathead screwdriver, just kind of push it off right here. Then you got a 10 millimeter bolt there and a 10 millimeter bolt right there. And then we just kind of pick this guy up and set him off to the side here. I don't want to scratch him. It's nice paint. Boom. So that'll be kind of out of your way. Now we're going to be able to access our bolts a little better. First thing, we'll remove this power steering pump. Okay, and to get your power steering pump out of the way, we're going to get this 14 millimeter off right here, take a wrench, and then a 12 millimeter. You can see the ratchet going in there. Um, there's a nut just beyond there. Um, take that out. And then we have an adjuster right here, and that's a 10, and we'll loosen that, and that'll put that kind of forward so we can just slip the belt off. Next thing I did, guys, was I went ahead and took the two 10 millimeter bolts off of your power steering line, too, and you can go ahead and just pull that guy off and set him up there off to the side. And it's not really leaking a whole lot of fluid, so it just makes it a whole lot easier to get that bolt out. And then we'll just be able to pick up on this guy. And I'm gonna take that out with both hands so I don't spill fluid all over the place. So this is what it looks like when your power steering pumps off. Still everything's nice and clean. I have not spilled a drip of power steering fluid, which is great. And then you're gonna take this little 10 millimeter nut off and pull this guy out and out of your way. I don't want to drop that little tin. And I'm going to set him off to the side. Boom, boom, boom. And that'll give us a little bit more clearance for this alternator to come up and out. Next, it's almost like we're doing a wash, rinse, repeat with the alternator because it's pretty similar. we got a 14 right there. We have a 12. As you can see, it's on the nut or whatever it is down there. And then we have... A connector right here that's I think that's a 10 and then this electrical connector you just squeeze squeeze and pull you pull a boot off and it'll be exposed and then take that off and then there's also if you can see at the end of my finger right there that is an adjuster bolt just like on the power steering pump so we'll loosen that up you know slip the belt off and then in theory we should just be able to pull this alternator right up and out Okay guys, now I'm going to do a quick little demonstration. I'm going to try to do a one-handed here to show you. You're going to, once you get this guy wedged out, you can use a flathead screwdriver or a pry bar to kind of pry him out and get him out of your way there. And then you'll slide him that way and then pull up. Because as you can see, there's this little stud right down here. This guy's got to slide off of. Also, there's going to be this little piece, which you can see that's where your nut was mounted it's gonna sit right under there under it so that's gonna be down there pull that out with it and that's pretty much it alternators out it's the reverse procedure to put the new one in so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time